Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about torque equation of a DC motor. First of all, what is torque? A torque is a turning or thrusting movement about an axis. The torque is a turning or thrusting movement about an axis. First of all, torque is equals to force into radius. So here the force is angular force. Actually the forces are two types. One is linear force, another one is angular force. So here, so the force is in angular motion. So torque is equals to angular force into radius. Okay. So now the angular speed of wheel. So the angular speed of wheel is equals to 2 pi n by 60 radians per second. Okay. Next, work done in one revolution. So, the work done in one revolution is equals to force into distance traveled. Okay. Force, angular force into how much distance traveled in one revolution. So, here, W is equals to, work done is equals to force into circumference of the circuit. The circumference of the circuit is 2 pi r. So, work done is equals to force into 2 pi r joules. Okay. Coming to power developed. Power developed means output power of the motor. Okay. So, the output power of the motor is equals to work done by time. So, work done F is F into 2 pi r or force into 2 pi r by time for one revolution. Time taken to complete one revolution. Actually, one RPM 60 seconds. In RPS n by 60. In one revolution, Sixty by n. So time taken to complete one revolution is equals to sixty by n. Okay. So output power P is equals to force into distance travelled by time taken to complete one revolution. That is sixty by n. So we can also write the same equation force into r so f into r force into radius and remaining 2 pi n by 60 so force into radius is equals to torque 2 pi n by 60 is equals to omega so the power output is equals to torque into omega wax okay this is equation 1 and this is the equation for power output and we know the power developed in an armature so how much power developed in armature so the power developed in armature is EBIA back EMF EB into armature current okay so EBIA is equals to power at output. So output power, just now we derived, output power is equals to TA into omega, armature torque into omega. So we, we can write power at output armature torque into omega. So EBIA is equals to armature torque into omega. But EB is equals to back EMF. So already you know what is the equation for back EMF? AB is equals to 5ZNP by 60A. Okay. And omega is equals to 2 pi n by 60. So we are going to substitute these two in this equation. So in place of EB, we are going to substitute 5ZNP by 60A. In place of omega, we are going to substitute 
2 pi n by 60. Okay. So now E B 5 Z N P by 60 A into I A that is equals to armature torque into omega 2 pi n by 60. So here 60, 60 n n cancels. So finally we get armature torque is equals to 1 by 2 pi 5 Z I A into P by A. So here phi is the flux, flux per pole in Weber's, Z is the number of conductors, IA is the armature current, P is the number of poles, A is the number of parallel paths. So 1 by 2 pi value is 0 0.159. So we can also write this equation TA is equals to 0 0.159 phi Z IA into P by A. So finally the equation for torque is 1 by 2 pi phi z i a into p by a. So in this equation z p a these three are constants and 1 by 2 pi also. So these are constants. So when, when we neglect these constants Armature torque is proportional to phi IA. Only phi and IA are variables. Okay. So we can also write torque is proportional to phi IA when Z, P, A are constant. Okay. So now torque is proportional to IA in shunt motor. Actually torque equation is torque is proportional to phi IA. But in shunt motor, torque is proportional to IA. Why? Because phi is constant in shunt motor. In shunt motor, flux is constant. That's why TA is proportional to IA. Okay? And coming to series motor. In series motor, torque is proportional to IA square. So, in series motor, phi is proportional to IA. So, torque is proportional to IA into IA, IA square. Okay? So, for shunt motor, torque is proportional to IA. For series motor, torque is proportional to IA square. Okay? And, so this is the, the, the derivation for torque. Or this is the equation for torque.